Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. This video is a continuance of my Macari bead haul. I think this is part 5 or 6. I don't know. It, it all depends on when I go to edit it, how long each video is. But this is either part 5 or 6. But you'll really know when you look at the title down there, it'll tell you. So I don't know until I go to edit it what part this actually is. But anyways, in the last part I showed you guys some really cool carved jade pendants. A Z bead that I found on eBay for $3,000. I mean, what the heck? That's crazy. Um, now I'm going to show you the last bit of my haul here. I have some glass beads. Which there wasn't much glass beads. There is a lot of glass beads here. This is a big bag of glass beads. But, um... There was a ton of gemstones that I showed you guys. If you didn't see the previous videos, if you didn't see part one, two, three, four, you're missing out because those were some of the best stuff in those videos. I will link them down below in the description bar. You gotta watch them all and watch them in order if you can so you don't get confused. Alright, so I'm gonna show you the glass beads now and then I'm gonna show you the amazing clasp that I got later on. I've never had clasps like these before. This bag is slam packed full of glass beads. Alright. There are. Oh, those. I don't know if those are glass. I gotta look at those with you guys and see what you think. I kinda wonder if they're some kind of. I don't know. They seem heavy. They seem heavier than glass beads. They're unusual. They're neat. Anyways, there is a mix of rondelles here. This is a really color, pretty color mix. This was just, they're new beads, rondelles. There's this little pendant here, which I love. That is a unique color. Isn't that pretty? I don't see that very often. I don't even know how to describe this. I don't think it's purple. Is it like red wine color it's really unique I don't know but it is gorgeous there's some teardrops here those are pretty those look great together love colors like that anyways it's just a really neat mix oh look at these earrings aren't those cool I had a bracelet I showed in a previous video that had these on them but they were oval shaped and there's just a neat mixture here love big beads like that Sparkly. Alright, so that's some of the newer beads compared to all the other stuff that I showed you guys in this haul. Those are newer. And then there's these here. These are electroplated. I love stuff like that. Rainbow. It's beautiful. Here are some glass, and there's a clear teardrop in there. glass, lamp work, lamp work, teardrop, it's a pretty teardrop, I like the facets on that, it's the same on each side, usually it's flat on one side, then the other side has a point, but this one doesn't, it's pointed on both sides, anyways, these beads here, you're probably thinking that they're tiger's eye, but they're not, don't let them fool you, they are glass, these are glass cat's eye beads, they also call them fiber optic beads, they're cool, though. They are cool. They really do look like cat's eye, but they're not. Anyways. I had, like, four of those. Some other glass ones there. These here, I got really excited when I saw these because I instantly knew what these were. I have these in my stash. These are MC Cut Bicones. MC stands for Machine Cut. Machine cut crystal. They're actually check. Alright, but they don't have rounded holes like Swarovski. They do have a flat hole. Do you see that? It's just flat. But I use these crystals here because they are affordable for me in my bead weaving. I don't have this color. Now I do. But I didn't have it before. So when I saw her have these in here. I was excited because I was thinking she was going to have more. But she didn't end up posting anymore, so I, I think she's out of out of beads. I think I bought, bought most of them. 
but yeah when you buy these you usually buy them in a big bag like this i think it's 144 they sell them in, in bulk <clears throat> and there's these here these are faceted glass they are not sparkly faceted glass like this are very dull they're kind of boring but um these here they, they do need to be washed because they look dull you could tell that they're dirty see how they're not shiny at all I mean, they're not sparkly beads. These kind of facet glass, but these here, they do have a shine to them. And, and these ones here, I could tell. They just need to be washed. And you know what I do to wash them? Whenever I buy beads like this, because I like to go to thrift stores and I recycle things, I get beaded purses and I take them apart. And um, sometimes I will find things that are dirty. But what I do is I'll put them in a plastic bag like this, or even a container, like a jar. I will put Dawn dish soap in there or hand soap and I will just put my hand in there and I'll or I'll put like soap in here in this bag with water and I'll just go like this and I'll just sweep, turn them around right and then I'll pour this out onto um I'll drain the bag because you can go like this and drain the water out but then I'll pour the beads out onto a dish towel or a washcloth that's dry and I'll just go like this on a plate I usually do a plate and then I put a rag on it and I just lay them out flat and I let them sit overnight they dry and then the next morning I could put them away but yeah I have washed beads like that especially a piece like this now pieces like this this is still together so I can wash this before I store it this is gorgeous this color looks like citrine I kinda wonder if it is citrine it could be glass, but the facets on this, I don't know. It makes me wonder if it's citrine because usually I, I don't see round glass like this. Unless this is a vintage glass, like German glass, it could be something like that. That's why it looks like this. Isn't that prettier? Or pretty? I know that when I clean it, it will even be prettier, man. It's going to sparkle big time. Has a cool closure too, and the, cl the closure is tarnishing some, but I'm okay with that because I like that look. Right now, old stuff and jewelry is like really popular. Old worn things. Here are some rondelles in a smoky color, and then I have these here, which I got these before from Sugar Gems and they were so pricey. Now I did not buy the beads, they were given to me, but there was price tags on these beads. These are rondelles and I guess these are a Chinese crystal. I, I think they're faceted by hand. If you look at them, they're all kind of different. Like they're not perfectly cut. Do you see how they're all sort of different different looking? The cuts? The regular looking? Do you see that? But um, they were pricey. I have to go back into my bead stash. I'm sure I still have the tags in with the bags. Now, this here, I'm thinking this had to be a piece of jewelry. But for some reason, I thought this was glass. But for some reason, this bag weighs a ton. I don't know why this is so heavy. Like, this weighs more than this. And there's more beads in this bag than this bag. I don't understand it. Why are these so heavy? Is this crystal? I do know that Swarovski has lead in it. Did you know that? Swarovski has lead in it. And I saw a few years ago that they came out with a new Swarovski crystal that does not have lead in it. And then people are afraid of lead and stuff, but they put lead in, in the Swarovski. Kind of crazy, right? And I didn't know there was lead in Swarovski for a long time. Anyways, these are so cool. I'm trying to figure out why they are so heavy. Are they gemstone? They kind of look like they're drilled. Like the holes are white. Like a drill was passed through the bead. They're all like that. See what I'm saying? These here are two hole. And they're faceted. There's unique shaped beads like these and these. Why are they so heavy? I don't understand it. Look at these flat ones. Yeah, they are like drilled. 
I'm trying to figure out what they are. These were scattered throughout everything, but I realized that they were similar. So I put them together in this bag. But they're really interesting. And I'm trying to figure them out. I'm telling you, it sounds crazy, but they are super heavy. Why are they so heavy? These are like twice as heavy as this. It's really bizarre. 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 <laughs> it's bizarre how heavy they are. Now this here is a random bead. This here is a bicone, and it's actually alexanderite. Because when it's in um, fluorescent light, it is blue. But when it's in daylight, now I have daylight bulbs, so it, you're seeing purple here. It turns purple. There was only one of these. And I kind of just tossed it in this bag. But um, these here are pricey. The alexanderite bicones. I tried getting those a long time ago, but they were expensive and I never did. Anyways, there's more of those um, hand cut crystal beads. And these are Czech Far Polish 10 millimeter beads. See that? Love some Czech Far Polish. And then we have these here, which I don't think these are Shaq Fire Polish, but they have a similar shape. They are kind of like this bead with their facets. And I'm wondering if it is like a fancy vintage German glass bead. Do you see how the facets are? This is not a check. It is different. There's more facets on it. Yeah, look at the hole. Do you see the hole in that? These are definitely check. I know those are. What is this? It might be some kind of a crystal. These two. This is not a regular rondelle, glass rondelle. That's something else. It has to be vintage. I've also wondered if it is um, crystal quartz. It could be. Like this one. This one has a swirl going on the side over here. Like it's crystal quartz. And crystal quartz is like that. Sometimes it's not perfectly clear. There's little balls and stuff in it. And these are teardrops that I found throughout scattered and they're pretty. They need to be cleaned. These have drilled holes. I do wonder if this is a gemstone. These are pretty. They look like a uh, aquamarine. I don't think these are glass. I don't know. They're drilled. I wonder what those are. This one looks like citrine. There's pink. They're beautiful teardrops. There's a green one. Oh man, I wish there was two of those. Then I found this little thing here. These look like gemstones. It's a neat little mixture. The reason why I wanted two of these because that's my uh, birthstone right there. I'm an August baby. There we go. And then more of this glass that crystal that's faceted. I think it's faceted by hand. And then more teardrops. This is smoky. I think it might be smoky quartz. Again, these look like they are drilled. Like they are a gemstone. Wait, is this smoky quartz or green? Oh, it's smoky. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's olivine in a way. And then there are some bicones here. I think these are just re regular um, bicones, nothing fancy. But these rondelles are awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, these are opaque red, but they have swirls in them. Look at this. Oh, that one really has it. Do you see that? Swirl going through that red bead. 
like it's not totally opaque it's not one solid from the side yeah it kind of looks like that but look at that right there and there's a bunch of sizes here there's some transparentness in that bead it's a blood red oh it's beautiful big holes too I can use this with my um, Chinese nylon nutting cord that I love so much And then, is this more of that unusual glass? Yeah, it is. I wonder if it's German glass. Yeah, this is the same bead that is in this necklace. That one actually has an inclusion right there. Here's rondelles. Wait, I had one of these rondelles somewhere else. Yeah. I don't know where. I'll have to go find that. This has been like this the whole this whole video. I keep finding beads that were in other places. Anyways, they're cool. It's not a regular glass bead though. I think they might be vintage or antique. And these, I've not seen stuff like this until I got beads from this lady. These are would look like faceted gemstones but they have holes in them hey these are heavy these are heavy just like these and they look like the same colors so I'm trying to figure this out what are those beads maybe they have lead in them is that why they're so heavy I don't know it's really bizarre this looks like tanzanite doesn't it this broken and I'm kind of bummed out about it because it looked like there's a there was a hole right there, so it kind of looked like a button, you know. I could have probably used it as a button. Yeah, those are cool. Are beads that have lead in them heavier than glass regular glass beads? I don't know. But I'm telling you, those beads are so darn heavy. Oh, there's another oddball. These are just lampwork beads. And then these. These are incredible. These are really heavy too. And this one has that white center in it like it was drilled. See that white center? But these don't. Like they are just glass. They don't appear to be coated. The color of these are incredible. And like I said, they're extremely heavy too. Oh, these are gorgeous. This is kind of like a color in the Czech bead world that is called Rosaline. But it's more peachy. It's very peachy. Let me show you my mat. It's a very peachy color. And these rondelles are squished. Like, I've shown you those other ones I had earlier. They're really wide. Or like thick right here but these are super like flattened very unique color I've never seen a color like this in a glass bead super sparkly too I love those those are actually really great together and this, I've done a necklace with these three colors together and gold. Uh, I think I gave it to my mom. She wanted it. And this is just a regular um, 
Rondell. There's some butterfly charms in there, though. There was something made out of this that's taken apart. I don't know what it was. I didn't take it apart. And then these beads here, which, these are glass. They have big holes, so I could use them in macrame. And uh, they're a neat white color, but not like opaque white. It's milky. It's a milky white. And they're faceted. So I do like those. And then there is rondelles. These are just regular faceted rondelles. I have stuff like this in my stash. And then these here are faceted glass. And again, it's that glass I was talking about. It's not really sparkly. They have rounded edges. So I think that these are like put into a mold that makes them look like that. But these ones here, I think, are faceted. With a machine like these machine cut and see bicones. There is another one. Those I like that purple. Have you ever looked at Oriental Trading? There is a um, my aunt sent me it was a catalog. It's called Oriental Trading, and they have some really cool beads. A lot of lamp work stuff. And I wanted to buy from them a long time ago, but I never did. And I stopped getting cataloged from them. I need to check into them and see, but, you know. Now I'm into collecting vintage beads, so... Those are earrings. Right. Here's more of these. I did sort through these. They look like they're the same, but they are not. These ones are smaller, and these ones are bigger. They're very pretty, though. I, I want to say that these were really pricey beads. I need to go into my bead stash and look at the ones that I got from Sugar Gems. I, I think that these were pretty pricey. The ones I have is like a mixture of colors, rainbow put together. But anyways, there's another one. Did I show those? Those, again, are very unusual rondelles. They kind of look like they're Czech. I'm wondering if it's like a German glass, though. All right. I'm going to put this away. Then we're going here with some cords and stuff that she gave me. Um, I think this is Chinese nylon knotting cord. This is much thicker than what I have. I use um, 0 0.08 millimeter size. I love this color though. Both of them are pretty. This is like a denim blue. There's peach here. It's nylon so I should be able to melt it. And then there's some embroidery cloths in a pretty green color. I do use that for making jewelry. And then we have an elastic cord here, but I think it might be shot. And this black cord is leather. And then there's rat tail. And some kind of purple thread there. I don't think that's embroidery floss. And just... There's um, Chinese nylon nylon cord in black. It's just a mixture of cords. And then the findings. Here is the findings. There is a bunch of stuff in here. I tried sorting through this just like I tried sorting through all the beads and um, making it easier for me to show you guys because there was, everything was mixed together just about. So uh, let's start off with this here. There's some neat things in here. I love these. Um, I don't know if these are filigree. Maybe they are. They're really cool. I can tell that they're very old, but they are just timeless. Maybe they are filigree. I don't know. They seem thicker than filigree. But they are gorgeous. And I could tell these are old, like I said. But these could these are totally in style today. Look at how beautiful that is. I could do bead dangles down here do some beaded links. I can have a bead in the middle. If I wanted to, I can flip it over like this. And I can have a bead dangled down here. I can connect here to there if I want and have something inside. I can do different things with these. I could connect these together. 
and make them into a necklace if I wanted to. There's different options. Like I would probably flip this one upside down and then go like this and then have like three up there. There's a bunch of different things you can use these for, but um, I just love them. I, I think they're beautiful. Some of them look like they are tarnishing just a little bit, but the, the, the way they're tarnishing, they're aging gracefully. So I love those. And then there are these things. I don't know what this is, but I was hoping that you could help me out. Somebody out there. One time I got these neat looking earring findings that were for people that didn't have pierced ears, but you put a pierced earring into it. I had no idea what it was, and um, a bunch of you saw it and told me what it was. So this here, what is this? I'm wondering if maybe it is for a man a man's tie or a cuff link or something it looks like a pin goes into here this is a button but when I push these buttons nothing happens I thought that maybe this slid on here somehow but I can't get that to happen I tried doing that so I don't know what am I doing wrong what is this there's several of them. They are beautiful gold. I kind of wonder if they're brass. They're all in perfect condition. But I don't know what they are. So if you know, let me know in the comments. Oh, and I, I think I do have them here in the original bag. I don't think I took them out. It says GF. Kind of makes me think. Gold filled, maybe. These here are uh, brass. These are flowers. One of them has a hole in them, but the other ones don't. And um, I probably will end up putting holes in them. I could maybe do it with a nail and a hammer. I do have a hole punch, but I don't think I can get in there with a hole punch without bending the flower. But look at that. Aren't those cool? There's five of them. Pretty darn cool. And then we have spacer bars. These have rhinestones in them. These are very old. I know because I have newer versions and they don't look this good. Look at that. Ooh, those are pretty. They don't make things like they used to. Look at the sparkle. This one's an oddball. But these three go together. Those are fancy. Here are some earring backs. There's a bunch of stuff like this here. Here are some split rings. And then some charms. Oh, there's there are charms in here that have settings in them. So those pearls I showed you in part one can be glued into some of these like this one and this one make those into earrings but that was cool and these here have cabochon settings and I did find this cabochon and it fits perfectly in here so I'll probably be putting him in one of these as a little owl at least I think it's an owl there's another one a pearl can go into that And these, I thought those were cool. There's three of those. There's a lot of sellers on Macari that have a lot of charms like this. A bunch of people. These here are earrings. Now these have this chain on here. There's several pair in here. It's this chain that you can slide beads onto. There's a lot of beads that will fit onto this very thin chain. Then you put a crimp at the end. You know what I'm talking about? You can put beads onto that chain right there. And you crimp the end. Oh, crimp bead. Or crimp tube. And then there's these. I left these in the original packaging. Looks like it says four necklace. They're pretty old. I think that's neat. 
And then there's these here, which some of these were sterling. I don't know if it was this bag or another bag, but I saw $9.25 on the post. I have to check them, but this is what I was telling you guys about earlier. I had a whole bunch of those pearls that were half drilled. That That's what you do with these here. You put the pearls on them. Are these the sterling ones? Hmm. It's hard to tell through the bag. Anyways, here are some earring backs. White ones. I've never seen white before. I've always seen them in clear. And then here are some earring findings that I matched up. These are the fish hook style. There's also an ear cuff in there. I was kind of wondering if that was sterling, but I didn't see a stamp on it. There's lever backs in there. Stuff like that. Oh, there's that piece I was talking about. It's a loop with the pin that you glue into a pearl. And then we have head pins. Those are really soft, by the way. They were all like bent up and I straightened them out and put them in the bag. And they're really soft and it's making me wonder, are these gold filled? Because I've never used gold filled finding before and I saw that several of these bags said gold filled on them. So I was wondering about those. And then there's some more. These here were just some, these are sterling silver. This is 925 on those. 925. I don't know if that will show up on my camera or not. Anyways, I left those in there. There's some more earring stuff. And right here, this is a bag of like oddball things. So there's this big flower in here. This is brass. This was bent closed more, but I opened it up some because I thought it was too closed. But maybe I'll use this for um, a house decoration because it's kind of big. And I don't know how I would use this in jewelry. It's pretty darn big. It's, it's like the size of a real flower. And then there's this ring, which is very unusual, but really cool. I think someone made this. Look at the back. It looks like jump rings that are soldered together. These are little bells. I thought it was neat. I don't see a stamping on it, if it's sterling or not. I don't know what kind of metal it is, but I thought that was neat. And then there are my least favorite clasps, barrel clasps. They're so annoying, they unscrew and they fall off. And then there's just some little things in here. I thought this was cool. This is a bale that has um, like a lever back on it. I was wondering if that was gold or not. Anyways, I'll put this back because I want to show you. Going through everything, a lot of stuff was mixed together, just like the beads. And this whole pot here, I checked all of it with my little magnifying glass. This is sterling silver and gold. So right here, these little gold pieces, I checked them, it's a clasp. These are 18 karat and 14 karat gold. All of that is real gold. Look how much gold I found in this box. Or in this in this stuff. That's a good amount of gold right there. Here's another piece of gold. Now these these are S hooks. I've never had these before. And sterling now they're dirty I have to clean them but I have the the cloth to do it I never used the chemical I used to use the chemical sterling silver cleaner but it destroyed all of my sterling it ruined it so I don't use that stuff anymore especially with my stuff that like this that I love so much but anyways right there is the stamp I don't know oh my is my camera gonna do it so that 925 and then let's look at a gold one here, is it on that side or that side? This one's crushed. This one's 14 karat. See that? 14 karat gold. I had one that was 18.
You can't see this one. I'm looking through the camera, through the magnifying glass at this. What does it say? This one's 14 carat. Mostly 14 and 18 carat. This one's hard to see. Oh, this one's gold plated. This one's 925. So that's sterling silver with a gold plate. But yeah. These are sterling silver jump rings. I'm excited about those because I want to buy some sterling silver head pins and make my own bead link charms for a necklace that I wear all the time. This here is sterling silver. Right there's the stamp. Nine twenty-five. And this one here, I thought this was junk, but it's also sterling silver. Right there's a stamp. This is nine twenty-five. So yeah, I'm gonna put all this back in here. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get this to fit? Oh, this is a trolley. It's a trolley charm. This is also sterling. I saw the inside it says it was sterling. Isn't that funny? So there's that. And then these here are I have I think I have some of these in my stash. This is a clip on earring. Okay. But it has a screw on it to adjust it to your ear. And then it has the little peg right there to put this one's actually has teeth on it to screw on to put beads on there. But I thought these were like really good quality. Like they're really nice. They're not cheap metal. I don't think I'll ever use those though. Unless I gift them to somebody that doesn't have pierced earrings. Ear holes, I mean. And these are filigree. But wow, these are thin. These are so thin. I'm going to zoom out some now. Wait till you see how thin these are. Like, I don't think this is really regular filigree. I don't know why these are so thin, but they're very delicate. Look at how thin. Almost paper thin, like cardstock. Isn't that crazy? And I was looking at them. See these little holes all over? I thought, man, would it be cool to take seed beads and a beading needle, probably a, a size 12 beading needle, maybe even smaller, or do fine wire and weave through all these holes and put seed beads on top because I would totally do something like that. But uh, they're so fragile because they're so thin so uh, if I did do something like that I would be worried about them bending on me. They would bend right back but if you bend them too much they will break. But isn't that incredible? Little holes in there? Look at that. It looks like pores. Here's another one. There were a couple of these that were damaged, had to toss them. They were broken. But those there are strange. My camera doesn't like those. And then there's these bizarre settings. I might have some weird things to put in here. If I go through my stuff. This one. The um, prongs are cut off. But maybe I could do something inside, wrapping beads with wire inside of it. I could take a file and file the prongs off more. And if I can't find anything to do with these, I could probably do that to these too. But see the prongs? I think sea glass would be awesome in these. If I can find a piece, but what are the chances of that? I can barely find sea glass right now. I think they're cool though. And then there's these little like filigree stars and they also have holes in them. I thought beads can go in those too. And then there's these ones here. These are also very thin. And then these says GF $24. Are these gold filled kidney ear wires? I think so. I did not take these out of the bag. $24. 
$24. You can make these. I have made these before. It's a little confusing when you first start making them. But once you figure it out, it's not that bad. I do prefer, though, the lever back ear wires. They're my favorite. Is that 40 pieces gold filled? No, it's 100 pieces. I don't know what that is right there. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to put this back. Here are some gold findings. I do have some in here that are silver. I kind of wonder if they are sterling, but I don't really know. These here. I've never had findings like this. I usually see these in pearl necklaces. But they're really pretty. See that? They're like filigree. There's gold in here. I do wonder if these are gold plated. There is a stamping there on the side, but I don't understand this number. I'll read it to you and you tell me what you think. It says 14 backslash 20 and then there is a symbol that kind of looks like a triangle. Flip it over. Let me see another one. This one has it too. 14 backslash 20. Mm, can I see that triangle thing? Let's see if I show you in the camera. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what that means. These are cool. I like those. They're very um, strong class. They don't fall off. That's one thing. And here's more of those. But these are even fancier. There's ones in here that are missing the, the stones or pearls that go on top. But I have so many little pearls I know after going through all those pearls that I have pearls that I can glue into this fancy clasp. This one here says silver on the back, but it is gold. Does that mean that it is silver with gold plating? This one's broken. Which is a bummer. Hmm. This one has three loops on each side. That's cool. This one's bizarre. I've never seen a closure like this. Look at all those little rings there. Isn't that neat? It has a lobster claw clasp. Cool, huh? This one also says silver. There's a few of those. That one's cool. And this one here I love. And I realized after staring at it, because I thought it was so darn cool, that it has little dimples in it, like I could glue uh, pearls in it if I wanted to. But I do like it like this. So I might leave it be, because I like it like that. But I think you could glue little pearls in it. It would be totally covered. There's another one. Fancy. This one's missing the thing that goes inside. But that just by itself looks cool as a charm, to be honest with you. There's a little heart. Here's another one. That one has a bar. I've never seen that before. That one has a plastic pearl on it. But I could take that plastic pearl off and put a real one on. Because I have some real ones. This one looks like it's real gold to me. But I don't see a stamping on it. And I want to say that usually the stamping for the real gold ones is on the pin that goes inside. Because my sister has those. She has a saltwater pearl necklace. A gorgeous one. And um, I think the stamping's on that part.
So here is the clasp that I was dying to get. These are spring ring clasps. And it's so crazy. There's so many things in this hoard of beads that I got that I wanted to get. I've been wanting to get. And I got them in this big selection. How crazy. So this clasp here. It's beautiful as you can see, but do you see these loops here? These loops are so big that a loop of seed beads can go through here. So every time I make my bracelets, how do I start it? I have a loop of seed beads on one side, a loop of seed beads on the other side, and I have either a split ring or a jump ring going through there. But with this, I don't have to use split or jump rings at all. All I do is I pass the seed beads through the loop. I just have to pick this clasp up and that's it. These are going to look so fancy on my bracelets. Some of them are tarnishing, but they're tarnishing gracefully. So like these are bright gold, but this one here that's tarnishing, it looks like brass or bronze. Cool, huh? And I think that these would also be awesome in a necklace because of how they do this number here, because of how they move. So imagine this on um, a chain going on your neck and then this one over here on another chain and then having charms dangling down here you can change the charms out that would be cool and I got these in a bunch of sizes so this this size here is like the medium size and then here we have a smaller one again very small 11 or seed beads would fit through there there's a bunch of those. These are so expensive. I cannot believe that I found these. And um, she had the last two packages I got from her were these findings. And I think it was some of her leftover beads. And it was, she um, bundled them together for me for 90 bucks. So I, I got a great deal. So there's those little ones, and there's these, which I think this is a different kind of metal. I kind of wonder if these are brass, because if you look at these, compared to these, like these are bright and shiny, but these have that brass look to them. I think they might be brass. There's a bunch of them. And then there's a ton of these. I think this is a cheaper version of the of this one. These just seem like they're fancier to me, the filigree ones. But I'll still use them. And then there's these here with the pearls, and I think these pearls are plastic. This one came out, but I'm totally okay with that, because I would rather have the freshwater pearls, and they're especially since I have so many of them. These are roses. On the back, it's silver. It says silver. That means it's silver with a gold plate? I don't know. I'm thinking so. And then there are the gold tags. And then there's some gold lobster claws. These actually aren't that great, but I will still use them. There's some more gold lobsters with jump rings. And then here are spring ring clasps. And these are fancy. These actually have a crystal in them. It's the one that has the pinch thing, that kind there that I just showed you. There's silver and gold in there. And then there's a ton of these. Look how many. There's so many of these. That's a big bag. And then here are some larger ones. So there's like four different sizes of these spinning glass. This one here is tarnished, but I love antique bronze. That's what it looks like to me. See how it opens? And I am wondering if I should take the ones that are tarnished out and put them in a separate place. Because maybe if I do that, it will prevent the other ones from tarnishing. If I put the tarnished ones with the ones that aren't tarnishing, it, it might make the other ones tarnish. So those are the large ones. But these are the jumbos. These are huge. Huge. Look at how big these are. They're kind of nautical looking too, aren't they? 
I had a stainless steel bracelet that had big links like this with one of these clasps on there, okay? Silver though, stainless steel. And it had an anchor charm. I love that bracelet to death. I thought it would never break because I've never had stainless steel break on me. And one day I was wearing it, like a month ago, and I went into the bathroom and my bracelet got stuck on the, the, um, the door frame, the handle, the doorknob, door frame, that metal piece, and it broke my bracelet. So I have to replace that clasp. And I don't think I could do it. I think I'll have to take it to a jeweler. So I'm bummed out about that. It was the clasp that broke, not the chain. The weld on it broke. And then there's these, which I don't usually use this style of lobster claw. But there's a lot of them in here. And it has a jump ring on it. And the jump ring is soldered. Which is the bomb. It's not open. So I definitely will be using these. Oh, is that a stamp? I can't tell. It looks like there's something there. Okay, so there's the gold. I'll put those away later. I'm going to go to the silver one. So here's that same clasp again, those big lobster claws, but in silver. Wait. These are bigger. These are bigger than these. I thought they were the same size. There's a lot in there. What is like a hundred of them? And then here's more, but these ones are tarnished. And then there are split rings, not split rings, spring ring clasps. More spring ring, split spring ring clasps. Good grief. Those are big. Those are the biggest one I've seen of that kind. And then here is a mixture of lobster claw class. Some of them were on old jewelry that's been taken apart. And I still reuse these ones because there are some things I make that have like an old look to them with the beads and colors and stuff. And a, an old looking class looks better on them than a fresh shiny silver one. So see, just a mixture of stuff. And here is magnetic um, clasps that have crystals on them. Cool. Some of the crystals are coming off though. They're pretty old. Them are old. And then more of my favorite ones. Spring ring clasps. Look at the baby ones. They're tiny. They're so cute. And then we have a medium size here. And then we have this one a little bit smaller. I think one was like chunkier. One oh no, these are the this is cool. I've never seen these before. You gotta look at these. Have you ever seen this before? This, are for, this is for multi-strand pieces. See that? So the other ones, they just had that loop right there, right? But these have three loops on the ends. How cool is that, huh? Bizarre looking. There's some in here that have two. So that's a triple. This one has two. I've never seen these before. Isn't that cool? One of them one's broken though. I can still use it though if I take the three rings off the other side. I can still use it like it's one of those glass. These are split? Yeah, they're split rings. Really thick ones too. And then there's more of these. There's still more. Like a medium size there. Here are the jumbo silver ones. 
big. And then there are more here. These are super bright silver. So I think this was like a different name brand. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away and show you the rest. For the rest, I'm not totally sure what these are. I think these might be tie clips. I thought they were hair clips in the picture. That's what they looked like. I was excited to look. I'm going to decorate those hair clips. Those would be so cool. But I think they're tie clips. Right? Is that what that is? And it looks like those pearls that I got, the half filled pearls, will be it glued up on there. I don't think I'll be using these. Maybe somebody else can use them. So I might give them to someone else. Wait, what was that? What was it one of those uh, kidney ear wires in there? I'll have to get that out. And then there is keychain rings, which I don't have any of those, so that's good to have. My sister was actually just asking me for some of those. And then gold beads. Now this gets crazy. I think there's real gold beads in here. And I think this because before, um, what was it? I had something I took apart that had real gold pearl, no, it had it was saltwater pearls with gold beads in it. Real gold beads. And someone told me, don't throw those gold beads away. They're real gold. Ten carat, I think it was. Beads. Anyways, these are bead caps. They're really thin, but they are neat. And there is a ton of them in here. Some of them are gold. Not many, though. There's probably, like, less than ten. And then... And the gold beads. Now these, these are old. These are definitely old. I have never seen rondelles with crystals in them like these before. Look at this. Now that one has a clogged hole. It's the only one with a clogged hole. I'm going to try and clear that out. I might be able to get that out with rubbing alcohol or acetone. But those are in really good shape. Now, these here are plastic with metal coating on them. But these, I am wondering if these are gold. Real gold. Because they were in with these. And I took them out. Because these beads go inside of those beads and they get stuck in there. And I didn't want that to happen. So I took those out. But um, these are super thin, lightweight. They might be real gold. Um, these I know are not real gold because they have a seam on them. If you look closely, these are like crimp covers. You'll see a seam on them. And um, they just looking at them, I could tell they're not real gold because they're colored. They have that brass look. So those aren't. These, I don't think these are real gold. I think those are plated. These here are gold plated over plastic. I can tell that by looking at the holes. These, I don't think are real gold. They just got that dingy looking look to them. And then these, I'm wondering, might be real gold. And these I'm wondering about. I know that the real gold ones are easy to bend because they're hollow. So these ones are brass. These have seams, okay? Those are just some rondelles. Some of them are discoloring. These here are silver. I will have to clean those to see if they are real sterling silver, but I'm thinking that they're probably not. They're actually very heavy. They're not hollow. So I'm thinking those are probably aren't. But it's these, these three. These are tarnished. Those are brass. These three bags right here, I'm thinking might be real gold metal beads. You see how these are bent? They're not tarnished at all. I gotta figure out if I could test these some way. They may be real gold. They're super light though. These ones here are better quality as in None of these are smashed. 
the color is consistent all around the beads. There's no, there's no um, tarnishing. But these here are banged up. But I knew, I do know that the real gold ones they bend easily. And then these here, this is the size that I've worked with before that were real gold. It's a three millimeter. Those are four. Those are four. And then there is a rondelle shaped bead in there that's gold. So I don't know. I might put a little note in these. Might be real gold. So I know in the future if I go to work with any of those. All right. And then there's one last bag left. Can you believe it? We're finally at the end. And this is just some miscellaneous stuff that she had. There's these U-shaped pins I've never seen before. There's some other stick pins in here. There are some these pins that you can put beads on and decorate and stuff and put in your clothing, purses, stuff like that. I've used these before. And then this kind here, which is actually my favorite because I like to sew around those there. But that is it. Man, that was a lot of stuff. I thought I wasn't going to make it. I can't remember what time I started filming, but I've been here for hours. I took like two breaks because I was dying of thirst, and I ate dinner. But wow, it is 9 o'clock at night. I think I started filming around 11 o'clock this morning. So yeah, I'm going to see how much or how long all this footage is. I'm going to be editing forever. This is probably going to be like an entire week. All week long I'll be putting out these videos and as I'm editing these I will be um, working on my current projects. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will put a link for Makari down there in the description bar so you can go and check out um, some of the things they have for yourself. Put in variety pack, like jewelry making variety pack. I found a lot of stuff that way. Put in beads. Put in jewelry making supplies, beading supplies, you'll see a lot of stuff pop out and people post things constantly. And um, if you favorite things, you'll get emails letting you know that there's been more things added and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you saw anything here and you know what it was, like what those weird gold things were that I had, where did I put them at? I don't see them here anymore. Those weird gold things. I don't know what they were. If you know what those are, let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch all of these all videos, you are amazing. Thanks. Bye.